Hey everyone, it's Trader Rob. I took a really nice 15 minute Rob reversal on the NQ yesterday after my video. Let me show you that trade right after the intro. As always, nothing I state on this channel is financial advice, trading futures, or any type of trading is risky business. Any capital put out there is at risk for loss. All right, so I created my video yesterday, um, pretty much right after, right after the video, um, I we got a trade alert um, that a 15-minute rob reversal was forming. So let's take a look at the chart, and this was yep. 10.30, our 10.30 candle, we get a setup to go long, closes above the ADMA, fits our, fits our pattern, we get activated here to the long, 35 points, no problem. That was just, that was a beautiful trade, um, definitely, you know, posted on in Discord, how happy I was for that. Also, a lot of the people that you know t had maybe a losing day yesterday, depending on if you were able to have gotten that gold trade, or if you were in both, um, or if you were in in oil as well. Depending on how you did this um, this trade right here, this setup just worked out really really nicely. Uh, we get another setup that um, is prompting a setup to go long. Now, do we get into this trade here? Well, it does fit our time condition because it's at 1230 um, before 115 central time where it's a go. Closes above the ADMA. That's great. The only thing it was missing was obviously we don't get activated into this trade because it would not have pierced our entry line, which would, would have been right here. One tick above the wick. So and none of these setups after that um, were um they were all invalidated obviously here you get a setup to go short it's um closes above the adma no trade now on our morning strategies yesterday we had our first trade which was really a tough a tough trade um, this came one tick from full take profit reversed all the way back up to knock us out for a loser no trade whatsoever in session two, which was also oil inventory yesterday. And in gold, we had a technically a winner. Um, this was right at the 845 uh, news release that came out. Um, this thing just shot straight down. So, you know, if you were able to get into these trade that trade quickly enough, that would have taken you for full take profit. Um, I was... I scaled down on that trade to the micro version, took a really, really small win yesterday on that trade, and that was really the only trade that I was able to, to get until I got the 15-minute Rob reversal, which was a beauty of a trade. Um, so where do we sit? Uh, day five on the uh, 50K challenge. Currently, we are at $50,550, so that is where we currently stand. Remember, we need to get a $3,000 profit target, and this account would then get funded there. So, 8.55 in the morning. Today's January 25th. We've got a few more minutes before our morning session. We start looking for trades. If you're looking for a rules-based strategy that has clear cut conditions on when to get into a trade, what type of stop loss you need to um, have, what's your take profit, and when you're trading this. Take a look at my description. I've got three trade setups that include oil, gold, and the NQ. They're all there. Um, everything's free. We're not, not selling anything. So um, you're more than welcome to trade that. And uh, let's see here what what trade recaps, or I'm sorry, what trades we're able to take, the recaps of those trades, and um, a summary on the session. See you guys in a little bit. Order, order, cancel. 
All right, so here we get activated into our first trade of the day. This is in gold. Uh, we get activated to the short. I'm just adjusting here my orders. I've got this sped up. Um, you know, this trade actually ends up taking a, a good amount of time. Um, max trade. So this one, I believe, was about 36 or 37 ticks. Now remember, I only reduce um, my my stop loss if it's 40 ticks or higher. Um, but again, not big of a not big not a huge difference. So we had a nice push um, downwards. Um, sellers kind of stepped in right in right through our entry, and we were in the green. And then we get this kind of reversal here where we're having you know buyers step in, and now again it's a, it's a we're looking for a momentum play here, and we're net we didn't get the initial momentum. Um, here we get some strong selling, feeling really good about the trade. Um, so let's take a look here and see what, what happens. But that's an awesome candle. That's what we're looking for here. So meeting a little bit of resistance there. Um, buyers obviously stepping back in. And, and we're not looking for, uh, with my strategies, never really looking for home runs. Um, it's it's pretty much a one-to-one -one risk to reward strategy. We're just looking for temporary momentum shift coming out of a, I guess you could call it a really mini range um, with that inside bar. And you're gonna see sometimes that initial inside bar kind of creates the new range and um, price action, you know, kind of starts to sit in there. Either way, you're going to get a push one way or the other. Um, the edge is more in the initial push, that's for sure. Um, but as you guys have witnessed in all of my trades that I have shown, um, these things can come one or two ticks away from your stop loss, reverse for full take profit, and vice versa as well. So getting back to kind of our entry point line here, um, that seemed to be the initial range where the inside bar was at, and that's kind of where price action is still staying. At this point, really looking, um, you know, for for some sellers to really step in and take this out of this um, out of this spot here. Because I know if we get one push up, we're probably going to get knocked out of the trade, which is what happens to us in uh, in gold. We end up taking a full stop loss on this trade. Stop filled. Order canceled. All right, so here we get into our second session in oil trade. We do get activated uh, into the short and um, also have this video sped up. Not that long of a trade, but um, just for the sake of and the beauty of editing, we can, uh, we're can we able to shorten this clip up here a little bit. Um, obviously here, it's a good example of how these kind of trades kind of set up. So. By the naked eye and looking at price action, you can obviously see oil is in a pretty solid um, uptrend. Um, it looks very similar to our trade setup from yesterday, um, minus the minus not having the overnight open, um, but very similar. So you've got you know two legs up here, and we've got our stop loss pretty much at the point where um, s sellers, I'm sorry, buyers stepped in, slapped price action to continue it to go further. So there's definitely gonna be some interest right where our, um, our, our take profit is at. But you can also say the same thing about our stop loss because our stop loss is in an area too where um, price action was really trying to hang out. Um, but again, that my play 
my strategy is just a temporary um, momentum shift in the market for 11 ticks, 20 ticks, 35 ticks, um, and, and that's what I'm looking for in each one of my trades. So the opposite from what happened in gold, um, this oil trade stays in the green pretty much, I want to say almost the entire trade. Um, which is obviously a it's a great feeling because you're you know you know you're at least at the at the moment on the right side Where of the help? trade, but you still need you still need um, you know sellers to to kind of really step in. Um, buyers might have been exhausted at this point with that move up. So again, just a temporary shift downward is all we're looking for. Um, hopefully, we can take a full take profit here. Um, and kind of equalize our trading day, maybe take a small loss in the day. And here we get the push that we're looking for for full take profit. Target filled. All right, there you have it. Um, kind of an up and down trading day uh ended off the day here minus negative 190 bucks um that gold trade obviously that you guys watched that was a max trade um did not work out in our my favor so that actually that obviously uh brought down the pnl pretty good i uh, was able to take oil session two um well let's just do a, a really quick recap uh, as far as gold, let's just take a look and see how this played out so you guys can understand the strategy here. Uh, we get an inside bar. Now, I had some people in Discord take this trade right here on mistake. Maybe they just, you know, weren't familiar with the strategy yet. Um, maybe they've back tested it and that's a trade that they want to take. But I think in majority, um, it was just a, a, a simple mistake where... I, this candle opens up at 8 a.m. Central Time and closes at 8.05. For you to use this inside bar, you would have to use the source candle from 7.55 to 8 a.m. And that is pre-session. I do not take this trade here. Does this trade work? Yes, absolutely. Did that add salt to the wound? Yes, absolutely. Um, but it is what it is. So... We then get an activation candle at 8.15 inside bar. And this is a good one. This is in my setup. So what am I doing? I've got an entry order sitting one tick above. And I've got a short order one tick below of this inside bar. And I'm just letting price action dictate which way it's going. Obviously, we get activated into the short right here. So if I take my um, stop loss, 36 ticks. And another um, scenario in Discord where people were like, well, we let's go to 35. I mean, it's one tick difference, but I only go to 35 if it's 40 ticks or higher. Um, just as part of the strategy and part of my rules, you know, that's just what I do. Obviously everybody can trade the way they want. Um, and you know, gets in the green a little bit here, goes to about 50% take profit. And then just, we were in the, we were in drawdown almost this entire time of trade, um, and take a full stop, full stop loss there. That's the one that hurt for the day. So that was gold. Um, oil again, not trading session one. I think session one now is four winners, two losers since I stopped trading it. Or it might be three and three. Um, so kind of a net net or maybe one positive on session one. Uh, same thing here. So let's just delete this tool. We've got a long order that's going to go, a long entry that's going to go one tick above, one short order, one tick below. We let price action determine which way it's going to go. Activates to the short. 
Obviously, your long order then gets canceled. Those are OCO orders, bracket orders. Um, and this one gets activated to the short. So if we put our short right here, we take our stop loss. Remember, it's at the top of the source candle to the left of it. That's what I use my stop loss for. 11 ticks. And you easily get your 11 ticks pretty quickly here. So with that trade, still would have been down with the, for the day, but not obviously 190 bucks down. Uh, we then get activated session two. This is uh, the session I was really looking to take. Um, this has been showing really, really good results. Um, we get activated to the short. Same scenario as over here. That one goes for $180 profit. Um, so again, that's kind of what I more appreciate. Instead of like the three and O's or the O and threes, I'd rather have like a some somewhat of a mix. Um, you know, I'm only taking two sessions right now. So, you know, the third session I really, really like just because it kind of is like that equalizer effect. Um, but again, I'm trying to follow what I've back tested and I would like to see session one continue with some strength to add it back into my trading um, routine. So in the Rob reversal, we've got no setups here. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, nothing really even close. Um, nothing even really, maybe right here. Obviously, if this would have closed, if this bar right here, let me just, sometimes you can't see it, I know. Um, what can I do here to make this easier? How about I put a little this guy so we all know this one right here this bar that's terrible <laughs> sorry everyone um i don't like to use drawing objects a lot but anyways this candle right here uh if this would have closed below um the wick here on this candle we would have gotten activated into a long and that would have been a pretty nice trade um, but this got de this got unactivated. So no setup here on the 15 minute rob reversal. Still keeping this one um, keep this one active for the rest of the day uh, and let's see what what trades it can take. For those, I'll update those um, in the morning tomorrow. All right, everyone. Uh, slightly red in the evaluation, slightly green in my cash account. Um, took a nice 835 NQ trade that got me into the green. So let's see you guys here tomorrow. Um, please make sure to like the, like the video. Um, leave me a comment below. Let me know what trades you were able to take and uh, subscribe if you haven't. Happy trading, everyone.